Hey everyone, so you're probably wondering what the hell am I doing at 10 in the morning dressed like Stewie Griffin dancing in the club? Well, I'll tell you. But first, I have to start all the way back to last year. And by last year, I mean New Year's Eve Eve. All right, so on New Year's Eve Eve, my friend invited me out dancing. And as I was getting ready, I discovered this super cool Stewie Griffin filter on Instagram, to which then I used to send a series of very uncomfortable yet sexy snaps to several of my friends. To which they f***ing screen recorded, you fake bitches. All right, so once at the club, I was having a really good time and the DJ was f***ing killing it. Not only that, but she was really hot. I tried taking a selfie with her, but her security wasn't having it and ultimately kicked me out. I didn't let this ruin my night. Instead, we decided to go somewhere else to dance, but not before heading to the bathroom to take a bunch of selfies because we were really feeling the fuck out of ourselves that night. Anyways, the club was getting lit. I was having such a good time, as you can see here. Just kidding. I honestly was having such a good time that before I knew it, it was morning. And I realized if I wanted any chance of making it to New Year's, I had to get the fuck out of there now and get some sleep. Make them away. But not before sending my friends some more uncomfortable Stewie Griffin snaps. All right, so obviously I overslept, no surprise here. I didn't end up making it anywhere in time for New Year's, so I just spent it on my couch eating burger fry and watching Impractical Jokers. However, I made sure to wake up early as f the next day to make up for the fact that I didn't do anything last night. All right, so I met up with my friends at seven in the morning and we took this very cringy video of us skipping to the club. Look at us, totally unaware of what was in store. I'll give you a clue. One of us forgot it was Monday and left because she had to work. The other one scratched her car. One of us got sick in the club. Oh, and the other was very, very concerned about the new COVID variant. You can now take this moment to guess which issue belongs to which one of us. All right, so when we first got in, we were having a blast, as you can see. The music was bumping. I even started with my Stewie Griffin shit. But I couldn't help notice just how packed it was for a Monday morning. Mind you, this is 7 a.m. Like, do y'all not have jobs you gotta be at? This actually reminded Tammy that she does have a job to be at. So she left immediately. <laughs> the crowd was turning Tatus into a hypochondriac, and she spent the rest of the day diagnosing herself with Omicron. As for me, well, you remember that 7 a.m. white claw I had in the morning? Well, that sh came to bite me in the ass. I ended up getting sick in the club. Luckily, my friends got me pizza and I started to feel a lot better. So much better that I ended up starting my very own water bottle balancing lead. I was whooping everyone's ass and becoming a true champion. Unfortunately, my league had to shut down early because of my very aggressive unsportsmanlike celebrations. Which pissed me the f off, so I suggested that we leave the club early. So... We're gonna go get pizza. <laughs> Unfortunately for Lola, she scratched the sh out of her car trying to park it. No. <laughs> but in her defense, this was honestly the smallest parking spot I've ever seen. Even the walls were covered with scratches from other cars. And by other cars, I mean Tatus' car because this is her parking spot. So we decided to go to the coolest piercer in town, your boy, who pierced Tatus' belly, Lola's nose, and nothing for me because I couldn't think of anything. Boo, you stink! They were both very happy with their new piercings, so much so that we decided to go back to the club and show them off. Unfortunately, nobody gave a shit, so we left. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.